Hi guys, Michael Bastons. Hope you're well. I hope you're keeping safe. I'm just on the way to the gym this morning and I thought I'd put a vlog out about uh, the Rolex Deep Sea Challenge. Obviously this watch has recently been launched and it's a lot of talk about it on YouTube and I just want to give uh, my views and opinions. I just can't see what Rolex are trying to achieve with this watch. It really doesn't make any sense at all. I think the watch is completely and utterly unwearable. Um, you know, it has a case size of 50 millimeters. It has a case height of 23 millimeters. Um, I have a seven inch wrist. I don't think I'd be able to wear this watch. And um, I'll show a picture of um, Amiga's Ultra Deep on my seven inch wrist. P picture of that coming up now, that's wearable. Um, here's a picture of the Ultra Deep on a rubber strap coming up with somebody who has a six and a half inch wrist. That is uh, wearable. I just don't think this watch is unwearable. Admittedly, I haven't seen it in the flesh, haven't tried one on, but I think the dimensions for my wrist are too large. Uh, it's made from RXL titanium, which is really a grade five titanium. It has a pretty basic movement in the watch. It's the 3230, which you find in a no date Submariner. And I look at the overall aesthetics of the watch and it just looks ridiculous. It looks like they've just taken the sub and blown it up on steroids. You know, that dial looks minuscule in comparison to uh, the case of the watch, uh, the bezel of the watch, even the bracelet. It looks as if, you know, all of those envelop the dial and the dial's almost lost. And here's the pierce resistance. This watch, they're asking 21,850 pounds for a sports watch in a non-precious metal. I mean, it makes, no sense at all. Now, is this a case of Rolex responding to Amiga with the Ultra Deep and sort of saying, anything you can do, we can do better? Or is it a case of Rolex basically admitting they have become uh, almost like an investment trust? You know, they've gone from being a watchmaker then onto a luxury brand to basically an investment icon. You know, there's no doubt this watch will probably be bought by people who just put it away in the safe and, um, you know, in five to 10 years time, hope, you know, hope to sell it, and make a lot of money, maybe double the money or maybe treble the money. I just think the watch is completely and utterly nonsensical. And um, if you contrast that with Tudor, who launched a couple of months ago, the Pelagos 39 uh, millimeter, this is the sister brand of Rolex. I think that's a fantastic watch. You know, that's in titanium. Admittedly, it's grade two titanium, but it's a more practical watch. It's a more wearable watch. Um, I think it's fantastic value at £3,500. As I say, this watch is £21,850. I mean, that is just ludicrous. And I've already said it and I'll say it again. I really do think this watch is nonsensical, which leads me to the question, has Rolex as a brand become nonsensical too? Stay safe and stay tuned.